My name is Kai Harris Penham, and I met the force of nature that was Brian Baker on 2 2 2002. <laughs> he was hosting with his partner Nanette at the time in the Absolute Vibration Warehouse a ritual gathering in honor of that midway point between winter solstice and spring equinox. A vignette from this memorable evening is how he invited each participant to come into the center of the circle where they were given a broom and <clears throat> they were to be witness sweeping away with a dance all that no longer served. And Brian and his band supported each of these spring cleanings of the soul with live improvised music in the moment uniquely in service to each dancer. So my very first impression of Brian was one of awe and admiration at the originality, the courage, and the talent he shared with so much flair. He was committed to bringing people together in a, spray, in a space of authenticity and meaningful sharing, using his music to create truly one-of-a-kind transformational experiences. That same night that I met Brian, I also met his good friends, Raphael Wolf and Chrysalis Panum, who became my husband of seven years. Together with Brian's visionary input and collaboration from afar, we birthed an eco-village in Sonoma County where Brian often visited to connect with the trees, the natural waters, the fresh air, and the bright stars. Communing with nature was dear to Brian. On his wedding day, dressed to the knees in, in, the, in his white tux, he stood barefoot on the soft and beautiful grasses of his home in Vallejo. That day, he inspired me profoundly. At the onset of the ceremony, he took the time to draw in long, deep breaths. He took the time to look around at all the loving eyes there to witness him. And I experienced on that day his, the capacity to be truly present, what a gift it was. And I made, in that moment, a, a promise to myself that on my wedding day, which was just a couple of months later, I would do the same. I gave myself permission to take the time to authentically connect body to breath and to the loving eyes of all those around me. This was Brian's way, and it was a privilege to witness and be inspired by it. The last story I'll share, I feel is especially poignant and relevant for us here today. Four years ago, Brian's dear friend, David Engel, had recently been diagnosed with stage four cancer. Brian was the kind of friend who really showed up in times of crisis, and he, dropped everything, flew to Mexico, offered in-person emotional support, and healing fresh vegetable juices. And I think how Brian dealt with the tragedy of David's ensuing death is something that each of us can take to heart now. The following is an abridged version of what Brian himself wrote on, Facebook, on his Facebook page November of 2009. I'm excited to tell you all about an upcoming challenge I have been preparing for. This Sunday, after eight months of training, I will be participating in my first international distance triathlon. Last winter, I witnessed the tragedy of one of my best friends succumbing to cancer in the course of three short months. And then, one month later, the same with my sister's husband. For me, the death of loved ones so close to my age further ingrained a sense of humility for my health, and I believe it helped set the stage for what followed. A month or so after returning from the second funeral, I dreamed I was participating in a triathlon. It felt really good, and I felt strong. When I woke up, it became effortless, effortlessly clear I was going to take action on my dream. I embarked on a new chapter in my life. I have worked very hard and in many ways have transformed my body significantly toward greater health. 
I am dedicating my efforts to all those individuals, alive or passed on already, who have deeply touched my life over the years and who are unable to take on this challenge. A challenge I choose to call, I do it for those who can, the Marin Triathlon. In gratitude and compassion, Brian. Brian transformed the shock and grief of losing loved ones into the motivation and inspiration to honor his loving body, to a, his living body and loving body, <laughs> to a truly exceptional degree. So may we all not only be touched and humbled by his carpe diem approach to life, but also gently and persistently tend to the inquiry, what is my living tribute? How can I, like Brian, transform the lead of tragedy into the shining light of insight, humility, gratitude, and motivation? And how can I, like Brian, offer my gifts with my very own special spark of life-embracing exuberance? I think and feel that Brian would be so pleased to see how those near and dear to him are indeed doing so with the same qualities of presence, authenticity, kindness, and creative flair that he so boldly and beautifully embodied. So I'm inspired then not only by how Brian lived his too short life, but also in how his friends and family are responding with so much heart in the wake of this tremendous loss. So thank you, Brian, and thank you, beloved tribe. I am a more alive and loving person because of you.